some students um, who have been sharing their experiences with us about what's happening uh, to them. These troubled Ghanaian students on government scholarship abroad uh, pleading for immediate intervention. That's coming up next here on Ghana Tonight. Else they will be deported. We'll tell you exactly what's happening to them. One of them joins us right now on Ghana Tonight. Ghanaian students in the United States, Canada, Barbados, Grenada, and Dominican Republic have all expressed worry over the financial difficulties they are facing due to the delay in government stipends. There's a letter that was issued to, in fact, an open letter to President Kofuado on September 9. The students brought to bear the distressing situations that they have been engulfed with due to the financial problems. I'm going to put portions of that open letter on the screen right now, and we're going to have a conversation on this. You see, stipends have not been paid for 18 months. In fact, some of are in areas beyond 18 months, and some students have not received any stipends for over two years. Some students have received withdrawal letters from their institutions, while others have had their visa status cancelled. Female students are often forced into unwanted intimate relationships. That's a very mild way of, of putting it. And, and male students, guess what? Resort to seeking financial support from older women or selling their spams to make ends meet. That's how bad it is. And, and students who have been withdrawn are not permitted in lecture halls due to unpaid tuition fees. Disbursed $50 million not adequate to address issues across the UK, the US, Barbados, Grenada, Canada, and the Dominican Republic. Appeal for the release of additional funds to cover outstanding payments for tuition and stipends and equal distribution among students. And this is, look, excerpts of the open letter to President Kofuado by the Ghanaian students on, on government scholarship, on government scholarship in these countries. And you recall, this is not the first time we're having a conversation like this with, with these Ghanaian students on student scholarship coming out like this. So you may recall sometime um, early part of this year, the students on government scholarship in Morocco also were on this show, via Zoom, telling us what they've had to deal with when they went to the, the Ghanaian embassy there. Pius Lord Apre is a PhD candidate on the Government of Ghana Scholarship, studying at the University of Kent Business School. Pius, thank you so much for connecting with us here on Ghana tonight from uh, the University of Kent in the United States. Appreciate you. First of all, we've just got information about some of the challenges that you face with which I just read to our viewers. But tell me exactly what you're faced with and what you're going through right now. Okay, yeah. So my name is Paris. I'm studying for PhD in um, business management at the University of Kent Business School. Um, so I enrolled in uh, 2021 September. So I've been here since 2021 September. Of course, I came on the Ghana Government Scholarship Scheme. Um, so the scholarship is supposed to cater for my tuition fees and then my, um, I mean, a monthly stipend um, for maintenance. Um, so um, it is the stipends we use to pay for our rent, our bills, I mean, telephone, light, gas, I mean, transports, and other personal needs, sometimes buy books and all that. Um, so this money is supposed to be paid every month. But the arrangement was said that um, for whatever reason, the money will be paid quarterly. Okay, so that's, that was the arrangement. Now, since I've been here since 2021, September, I've only been paid nine months of stipends. So this is my 37th month, three years and a month. So 37 minus nine, it means that I am owed 28 months of stipends unpaid as I speak with you. That's not all. Uh, the tuition fees also has also not been paid. And so as I speak to you, my university has written to me three emails warning emails that if I don't pay the tuition fees, that's if the Ghana government scholarship, whatever, I mean, scheme. If they don't pay the school fees, um, definitely they're going to log me out of the system and I'm not going to, I mean, be able to continue with my academic work. Unfortunately, some of my other colleagues in other universities have been sacked from their universities. They were withdrawn 
about a month or so ago. And then as we speak, in fact, I think if you check on your WhatsApp, I forwarded you one letter from a student who has been asked by the uh, UK Home Office to leave this country yeah. by 9th of November. That's right. I'm going to put and that so on the screen. you can imagine the yeah. stress students are going through. So for, I mean, some of the students, some of them sleep in the libraries because, of course, you can't pay your accommodation. Some of mm. them have been sent to court by their landlords. You understand? Because here it's not like Ghana where, I mean, this, some of these white landlords, they don't understand anything. Just take you to court for the court to demand their money. Um, people are going through hell. Um, I'm sure you might have heard that some students, some male students are actually selling their spams. Yes. So I'm student, I know some students from Nottingham University who travel as far as, I mean, to Manchester, okay, to mm -hmm. a clinic, to just, to, I mean, to, to, to sell their spams. And the, 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 the sad aspect is that you go, excuse my language, you masturbate to get the spams. And then depending on the weight of the spam, they are paid between 150 pounds and then 250 pounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, how dehumanizing can this be? So if the men are going through this, then you can imagine what the ladies are also going through. I hope you understand. The situation is that bad. Wow. And it's sad that some people have been withdrawn as we speak now. But um, the, the, the embassy and the scholastic secretaries, no official statement has been released. At least just to console these students, just to sympathize with them, just to I mean, give them some words of assurance. Mm -mm. A friend of mine spoke to an official from the Ghana Scholastic Secretariat. The lady from the Scholastic Secretariat actually told him that, uh, well, there's nothing he can do about it now, so he should brace himself for um, a deportation. I see. But, how, I mean, how, I don't know the word to use. How sensitive you know, can you be? But, 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 so it's, 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 it's a difficult situation here, as I speak. It, 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 it is situation. indeed. It is indeed. And, and if, with what you're telling me that you'll have to do to survive, I, I cannot imagine what's happening to you right there now. But what has the Registrar, the Secretariat, Scholarship Secretariat, been telling you all this while? What's been their response to the issues? Oh, we've had a series of meetings upon meetings. I mean, whenever we have meetings, I mean, the Registrar, uh, from, from him, I mean, from his words, he makes us understand that he's doing his best. He's written letters to the appropriate authorities, I mean, where the money should be coming from. But it looks like, I mean, he's not minded or whatever. I mean, they don't listen to him. So, uh, so I, if you, I mean, I'm sure maybe I took it upon myself, you know what, to fight for this. So I started some months ago writing to them, <clears throat> issuing, I mean, granting interviews here and there. At some point, because of the interviews I was granting, I was stuck, quote unquote, as an NDC person. Hmm. Who wants to sabotage the government, make the government unpopular? I was like, no. If students are not, I mean, we are going through this. Why shouldn't I talk? Hmm. Because of politics, I shouldn't complain. Come on. So you see, it's not easy. Um, so that's I, I, I don't know what to add. I mean, I don't know what to say, but it's been difficult. I, I see, and you're, this is worrying. You're saying that some of the male students on government of Ghana scholarship have to sell their spams to, to survive 150 to 200 pounds? That's what's happening? Yes, yes, yes. I can send you. You see, if, as we speak now, you can't, you can't see. Somebody just sent me a message. In I, fact, on the PAG platform just now, I, the person said, hmm, right now I'm scared for some students. A friend who doesn't want her name disclosed had just been chased out by debt collectors. And he's here with me. I'm trying to book a flight for her to go to Ghana because visa has been revoked. I am I am broken, cry. This isn't fair at all. I don't think this should be political because knowledge acquisition is for, na is for the nation. And this is extremely very disappointing. This is what somebody put on a PhD, uh, uh, sorry, you can't see, on a PhD platform. I can forward it to you. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's it's very 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 bad. It's very very bad. That's how bad the situation is. <clears throat> and even though you're saying that you've continuously gotten in touch with the scholarship secretary, the extent of what you're having to do right now, I want you to speak to them. Okay, how urgent the situation is right now. Okay, Bios. As we speak. Um, so, so like I was saying, because of the non-payment of tuition, 
For example, some students have lost their studentship. Some of them have been withdrawn from their universities. If I've invested of Nottingham, 11 students have been withdrawn. Like I told you, I've been given three warning letters from my university. I know the next one is going to be withdrawal. You understand? Um, I know of other students who are facing the same. I mean, uh, there's a letter from University of Aston, for instance, it's the same thing. University of Lincoln, the same thing. I mean, a whole lot of, I mean, that, that's how we find ourselves. So if nothing is done, definitely a lot more students will be withdrawn and a lot more students will be uh, will be uh, deported. I mean, check from the letter I sent to you, the email I sent to you, you have it on your phone. I mean, that's, the person received it just today. You understand, when we're chatting in the afternoon, that's when the person sent it to me. You can, you can see it. That's for the tuition. For the stipends, like I said, I am old 26 months, no, sorry, 27 months of, number. how do I pay my bills? And so unfortunately, I, the visa, I mean, the student visa I, I permits us to work just 20 hours. I can tell you for a fact, 20 hours can't pay half of your rent. 20 hours can't pay. So are they telling us we should do illegal jobs? That aside. So you see, the situation is not easy. It is that bad. And even with the 20 hours, sometimes you can't even get to work because look, the activities on campus are so much. I mean, you have to attend workshops, you have to attend seminars, you have to meet, meet deadlines. So you can't even have the time to go and work. That's the whole point. Last semester, for instance, uh, my supervisor wanted me to attend two conferences, one in Germany, one in South Korea. He sent an email, I told him point blank. I was like, prof, I'm sorry, but I can't attend this conference. You understand? Because I can't afford. Even money to pay my rent is a problem. So imagine traveling from here to South Korea, traveling from here to Germany. The air tickets, the, and that was the third time I had missed a conference. I mean, I, because of, for, meanwhile, your other colleagues from Asia, from other African countries, from the Western European countries who are also on scholarship, they go, you understand, they attend all the conferences, the exposure and all that. The only conference I've attended since I came here was right after my first year. Even for that conference, it was my school that paid for me. I remember when I was, it was time for me to collect my data for my work and I had to come to Ghana. Look, four or five months after my questionnaires and my ethical uh, uh, application was approved for me to go collect the data, I couldn't afford, uh, afford it, a, a ticket. So after four months, my professor was like, what, what are you still doing here? He had to take my school, my university, to, I mean, squeeze somewhere to, to buy the tickets for me. So it was my school that bought the tickets for me to come to Ghana to collect the data. That is because scholarship secretaries has refused to pay my, uh, had refused, uh, refused to pay my, 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 my stipend. So I couldn't travel. Uh, that is how uh, bad it is. There's a student, a friend of mine now, is it Lincoln University? He has to come collect the data. He's working on artisanal mining. I mean, a situation that is dying. I mean, like, you know, that is so clear in Ghana as we speak now. And Piles, I admit, look, a lot of us here are heartbroken about what you're going through there. And um, to get to know that, you know, these f female Ghanaian students on government scholarship are, as you put it in your words, they're forced into unwanted relationships and that's a mild way to tell us what they are doing and the men having to sell their spams for 150 to 200 pounds to be able to survive that's troubling to say the least but when the vice president the flag bearer of the mpp met the media a couple of weeks ago there was a question that was put to him about this take a look i'm being made very aware of this issue it's not um, it's not new um, because students have even, and parents have gotten in touch with me uh, about the awards and, and, and the scholarships and so on. So we're talking with the uh, Ministry of Finance and the Scholarship Secretariat. Uh, I think they were able to, to make some payments to, to some of the UK students and so on. But we will follow up on that because it's very urgent. Um, well, Pius, that was to you. Pius Lord Apre is a PhD candidate at the University of Kent Business School on Government of Ghana Scholarship. Thank you for really making the time to join us here on Ghana tonight. And this is one that we'll keep an eye on to see how things play out. 